On Monday, local, state, and federal leaders joined environmental activists to tour the Harlem River by boat. CBS 2's Jesse Mitchell shows us how they hope to tackle waterfront disparities between different parts of the city. New York City has more shoreline than Miami, Boston, Los Angeles, and San Francisco combined. But access points like this are not distributed equally. Dozens filled the deck to discover a new perspective of home. It's the second year Congressman Adriano Espaillat and the Harlem River Working Group have organized the tour to call for more support. They are the foot soldiers in this effort to bring about the changes that we need to see and save Mother Earth. I was hoping to see a dolphin or something. <laughs> Instead, Councilwoman Carmen De La Rosa saw a vast difference in her district along the Harlem River. Especially on the Bronx side, you see that that infrastructure is very decrepit. It looks like it hasn't been touched for so long. Compared to the developments farther south on the Hudson. There have been what looks like multi-million dollar investments into those waterfronts. And obviously when you're building multi-million dollar apartments, you, you have that type of access. Advocates have worked not only to to increase the activities available on the upper waterways, but also to address tributaries like Tibbetts Brook in the Bronx, which was covered more than a century ago. The rainwater mixes with the sewers, and when they can't manage it, that sewer water goes out into our rivers. The city is now working to uncover the creek and has greenlit the Harlem River Greenway. But Espaillat emphasizes the need for speedy action against the current climate crisis, with the tour previously postponed due to the Canadian wildfires' impact on air quality. Mother Nature is talking to us, we better listen. Once complete, the $227 million Harlem River Greenway will include a renewed seawall and environmental investments, a healthier habitat for all. From the Dykeman Marina in Inwood, Jesse Mitchell, CBS 2 News.